Hi friends, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time stopping in, welcome. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. So what I want to show you are these two tumblers that I did. I did them actually quite quickly. They're very beautiful, personalized tumblers for grandparents. And I wanted to show you that you could make a really nice gift without it being all just super fancy and taking forever to do it. So in this video, the first part of it is going to be on fast mode, but I just wanted to show you that I'm doing everything in one piece. And then after that, once the paint dries and I continue on, then it goes out of fast mode. But I just want to show you that you can do something super nice without it taking a really long time. And it doesn't have to be extravagant. Sometimes simple is just the way to go. Now these are both painted with chalk paint. The purple one is a lavender Waverly chalk paint and then the other one is pole blue Waverly chalk paint and the pictures are done using a technique that I've done um, several videos on and I will link one. So here I'm just showing you doing everything at once. I could have saved a little bit of time because I didn't think to paint the tumblers first. I should have painted the tumblers first thing because I let them dry for about an hour and 15 minutes. But you can see I just moved everything over to show you as I did everything at once. Clock. So it's been like an hour and 15 minutes and these were probably done a little bit longer than that. My um, my husband and I cooked dinner and um, we were watching a little bit of Demolition Ranch. I love that show. All right, so now I know that I had it on fast mode before, but I wanted you to be able to see the whole process and see that you really can do a nice tumbler, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. Sometimes just being simple is the best way to go. All right. So, and it was probably about, I mean, an hour of work would be pushing it. And that was including me um, cleaning up and if I if I did an if it was an hour of prep work prior to this I mean it's kind of pushing that it was probably not really even quite that much now I like to use the chalk paint because I feel like the chalk paint just dries so much nicer. Um, it's got a good finish and it just dries fast. Okay, so now paint is, has dried. So about an hour of prep work, getting everything together about an hour and 15 minutes for the paint to dry. So honestly, had I painted the cups first, by the time I had everything else done, I really would have been able to start putting everything on it. So now I'm just going to put on my decals. Um, so my Cricut lettering, I used some glitter vinyl for the blue cup and of course my Cricut to cut out what I wanted and this is actually the 
um, Cricut Standard font from Design Space. And then on my purple one, I used a purple holographic Cricut vinyl. And then I used Babette as my font. And so I'm going to go on and put on all my decals and then I'm going to put on my pictures. So I started making these tumblers and the reason I decided to do this video is because I was making these tumblers for the great grandparents and I was doing all the things and I was rushing and I was trying to do so much wanting to make these great cups that I, I wasn't doing my best work and I had to step back and think about it strategically and I thought what would I tell somebody else and I would tell someone else that you know you don't have to do all kinds of crazy things to have a beautiful cup yes it's fun to do a multitude of different things on your cups but when you are pressed for time you can actually do a beautiful cup in a short amount of time if you think about what it is that you're doing so reasonably even thinking about the fact that I stepped away to let these cups dry I spent an hour getting everything together that I wanted on them and painting them an hour to let them dry hour and 15 minutes and then maybe 15 minutes putting epoxy on them and I did go back in the morning and I put one more just super light coat of epoxy on there not because it needed it but because I wanted a little bit of sparkle so I put just a pinch of chameleon glitter in a super small amount of epoxy and just brushed a really light coat over it since I didn't need them till the evening I could let them rotate all day with that light coat of epoxy and know that they would be okay but really in the morning when I got up these tumblers were done so just to show you you can do something that's really nice that looks beautiful if you're pressed for time and you need a gift just a really good idea so since I did the video on fast mode I will link another video in the description that shows you exactly how I made the picture decals in case you want to know and they are made with just printer paper now for this particular technique it does have to be laser printed you can't do this with um, inkjet however you can still use inkjet pictures but you can't you can't put them in water and have the ink go onto the paper you would have to cover them with your tape and just put the entire picture on your cup however I have done that before and it does look nice also so there are lots and lots of options to doing this and when I am trying to do something a little bit faster I do love the chalk paint because it's so forgiving in the way it looks and it dries very very quickly All right, so I'm going to just let this continue going and then we'll put our epoxy on our tumbler. And really two and a half hours and then walking away and letting it turn overnight. 
And like I said before, I very well could have decreased that time had I thought about painting my tumblers prior to doing all my other stuff. That should have been the first thing that I did. And honestly, I probably could have had it done in about an hour and a half. So, all right, we'll continue on and get to that point here pretty soon. We'll put on our epoxy and we'll be done. So we're putting our cups on the turners. I have lots of different things that I use to put my cups on the turners. I have these really neat white foam things that I got from Amazon. On certain cups I use footballs. I have lots of different options depending on what's going to help my cup to fit snugly. Now when I'm doing my epoxy, you'll see for me, after I pump out my epoxy, I do heat my epoxy. Now, I would say I tell everybody to follow manufacturer's instructions on epoxy. However, again, for me, I do heat my epoxy. It allows it to get to that chemical combustion much faster. It goes on nice. I have no problem with bubbles. Again, that's the way I do it but I would never tell anybody to not follow manufacturer's guidelines. Also, please make sure that you're wearing your PPE. That's your personal protective equipment, your gloves, and your mask. Now, also, I have said many times, 
when I need to, I will put a thick coat of epoxy on so that I'm one and done. However, when I have lots of time, I like to do multiple thin coats of epoxy because it allows me to work nicer with the tumbler to make sure that everything is just really smooth. If I need to sand anything off at any point, it's much easier to do. I like to do very, very small amounts of epoxy on a regular basis. Now on these, I did utilize between the two cups, this is about 30 cc's of epoxy, which normally I would probably do five to eight cc's for these two cups together. And now I feel like I get a much better, a much better smoothness, I guess would be the word, when I use my finger. I have been using these applicator sticks lately just because, you know, it makes such a mess when you use your finger. However, when I do a large amount of epoxy like this, I will go in, like I'll do my initial with my applicator and then once I've got everything covered I will go in and pour over and use my finger to smooth it out because I don't have time to miss anything if that makes sense I if I'm doing a nice thick coat like this and I'm trying to do a one and done then I want to make sure it's all even all the way around and I don't have time to go in and keep putting small layers on to have it nice and even. So I will go back in with my finger. And then of course, baby wipes, keep them handy. They're wonderful for when you're done making sure that you, you know, just clean all the edges of your tumbler. So if you're still with me, thank you so much for being here. I wanted to, you know, be able to really show a true compilation of like honest to goodness beginning to end in something that looks so pretty, but honestly was done rather quickly. Now I am using my heat gun after just a little bit to smooth it out because again, I want to make sure that everything is just nice and completely smooth, one and done. I do feel like using larger amounts of epoxy at once, you, you know, leads to a lot more opportunity to mess something up. That's why I really like the smaller amount. And you can see here, my M on grandma was starting to lift. And that sometimes also happens when you get a whole lot of epoxy on there. So what I did was let it get to that tacky point. So once this was done and I, I walked away, after about maybe an hour, hour and 10 minutes, I came back while it was tacky and I used something and just pushed it down in there really good and then it, it stuck really well. And that's the kind of things that you know, when you are trying to do something quickly, it's a little bit harder and you're doing a thick coat. However, again, you can see you can still make a very nice tumbler if you're in a hurry as a gift. All right, so we're just going to continue on with putting the epoxy on and then we'll come back to it the next day.
All right, so morning time. This is about six o'clock in the morning. They were completely done. I, I took about two cc's of epoxy, put just a little pinch of chameleon glitter in it, put half on each of the tumblers just because I wanted a little sparkle. Had I thought about this last night when I was doing the epoxy, I could have done it then and not had to worry about it this morning. But I went ahead and did it. I got home from work about 3.30, took them off the, the spinner and just told grandma and grandpa, hey, you know, don't wash these until tomorrow because they still need to sit a little bit. And it was great. So these turned out beautiful, quick, beautiful, fantastic, personalized gift. So listen, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it, friends. I love you. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. Bye.